So I have decided to come back to YouTube and I took a short break just because taking care of a newborn and being a new mom was a lot for me, especially when I was trying to like, you know, record and upload and edit and all that stuff. It just wasn't working out. Landon's schedule and like my schedule were never in sync. Um, he never really took a lot of naps when he was first born. So I just wanted to take a break from it. And honestly, looking back, I kind of almost regret it just because Landon will be one next month and he has just grown so much. He's just so funny and so smart and he's so close to walking and I kind of just wish, you know, like I had gotten those memories on video and shared them because I, I just, I don't know. I, I want to be able to like share my life and relate to other people, especially being a young mom. It's really hard to connect with other people, especially when they're so much more older than I am. Um, but better late than never. And for those of you who don't know me, I am pregnant with baby number two. So now is a perfect time for me to come on here and like share my updates and what this pregnancy is like and what it's going to be like with two babies. And, um, I personally, um, I can't really speak for Kevin, but I've always wanted two under two, two babies under two years old. Me and my brother were two under two. Um, it wasn't necessarily as important to Kevin, the two under two, but we wanted our kids really close in age. And everyone just assumes because we're young parents and, you know, all the stereotypes that, um, our baby wasn't planned, but it was, um, we do not know the gender. I have my gender reveal party tomorrow. So that will also be um, on my channel. So look for that. Honestly, that should be up like right after this video. But we're super excited. And basically this video is just going to be me sharing my first trimester with this baby. Because once I found out I was pregnant again, I went to look back at like all my pictures and videos to see if I could like relate any common symptoms or... Um, see how my belly is like different from last pregnancy and I didn't really have anything I would take pictures like sporadically like I wouldn't take a picture for like a good month and a half and then I'd have a picture and like it just it kind of sucks that I really didn't take the time to like document what I look like each month but I really don't even start showing until I'm 20 weeks, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. But um, it's really important for me to do it this time around and to continue to do it because it's just so amazing. I personally love pregnancy. Um, pregnancy last time treated me very, very well, other than the fact that morning sickness is common for me. Um, but other than that, um, I've just been enjoying it a lot, and I'm just going to get started and telling you guys, like, um, my symptoms and cravings and all that stuff. So first I just want to start off with like um, my weight gain because I feel like that was really really important for me. Um, I gained 50 pounds with Landon. I started off at 100 and maybe from like 101 to 103 pounds like it always varied and then I gained 50 pounds during that pregnancy which is a lot, especially when I only start gaining weight around 20 weeks because I don't start showing and I only gain about a few pounds during my first trimester and the beginning of my second. So I gained a lot of weight very, very quickly. Um, I did not work out. I did not really eat the healthiest. I kind of just ate whatever sounded good and I treated myself because I was pregnant and I really, really crashed and burned after I had Landon. Like, I lost all of my muscle weight. Um, and then it took me about a good six or seven months to get down to my actual um, normal weight, which was, you know, around 101, 103. And then because I was so busy taking care of a baby and just so, like, you know, drawn to him all the time, my attention was always on him and, like, catching up on sleep and everything, I was forgetting to eat. So I ended up dropping down to 95, 96 pounds, which is so, so horrible. Like it just, I looked sick. Like some people have made comments like, wow, you look really, really skinny. But it didn't make me feel like it was a good skinny, but more of like really skinny. I never went to the gym. Like I didn't lift weights. Like I wasn't like huge, like obviously. Like 
Um, but I was toned. Like, I did exercises at home. I, it was really important to me to, like, maintain, like, a toned body. Not just for looks, but because it made me feel good. And then when I got pregnant, I was like, don't care. Like, <laughs> whatever. It is what it is. I'll be fine after. I'll bounce back. And I did, but then I bounced way, way, way too far back. So, this time around, I am really, really trying to, like, watch what I eat and exercise just so I don't feel like crap again because it's there's nothing worse from going like on an extreme high of like hormones to like your body like just crashing back down to normal and you feel like just sick because you're not taking care of your body so that is one thing that I'm really trying to do this time um, but anyway, back to weight, I only gained about two or three pounds during my first trimester. So I was like, I, I just reached like a hundred pounds. Um, so yeah, honestly, I'm not really too bummed about that because I was super sick. Um, I have extremely bad morning sickness, but not to the point where I'm throwing up every day or I can't hold down food. But, like, my nausea is so intense. Like, it's just so bad. And please leave a comment down below if you have this weird, weird, weird symptom. Like, it's the worst ever. I think 30% of women have it. I don't know how you say it or even remember it starts with a P. I'll just put it down here. Um, it's basically where your saliva glands increase and you know um you, you have way more saliva production to help your teeth from the acid from throwing up which is just like a big laugh to me because the only reason i felt so sick was because i had so much saliva and the people that i work with and like my friends and my family are probably like what is she doing because i'm constantly like spitting into napkins because if i swallow it i will throw up and it's just oh it's so gross and like waking up in the morning is when I would feel really really sick because you obviously swallow your spit in your sleep and this is TMI but like you clicked on this video like this is a pregnancy video like it's not all like glowy um you know you look beautiful all the time and which reminds me of that movie like what to expect when you're expecting when that one girl she like has the heels on and like she's perfectly fine throughout her whole pregnancy like there are some really, really, really big downfalls in pregnancy, and this is one of them for me. But um, I basically would just throw up spit every single morning, and it wasn't like a ton. It was like a little bit, but it was still like I felt like I was dying, and I also felt extremely sick when I didn't eat. And working in a restaurant, and especially like somewhere new where people don't really know me that well, um, it made going to work very difficult for me. Like people thought, people probably think I'm like a lackluster worker, but it's just the fact that my body just felt like I was dying. Like literally, if that's how I could describe it, I was so exhausted and just like hit by a bus kind of feeling. Yeah, hit by a bus or a train to a T is what I felt like. And not being able to eat because I'm working really, really, really made me feel worse. And like sometimes I would throw up at work and it was just so bad. Which brings me to my next symptom of pregnancy in my first trimester and that's anxiety. I already have like bad anxiety, but being pregnant, like all those hormones just make it so much worse for me. Um, I don't know why. It's just like so intense and like I overthink everything and like I feel extremely overwhelmed and just like really like on edge I don't know it has definitely subsided a little bit but I definitely carry it throughout my whole pregnancy but the first trimester is always so intense with anxiety another really weird symptom that I have is like intense nightmares it started, I think, around, like, six weeks, like, literally right when I found out up until, um, I think, eight weeks. Then it stopped, and then it started again more recently, and I feel like it's when my body goes through, like, big growth spurts with the baby, um, like, a surge of hormones or something, and I'm having really, 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 really hard time, like, trying to sleep during the night. It's like, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, I am asleep. 
but like I know I'm uncomfortable and I know I'm dreaming and I want to wake up to like change my position and I can't it kind it's kind of like sleep paralysis like maybe I have sleep paralysis too but like the dreams I'm having are so vivid and like they're like, you know how you have dreams and they're never in order? Like, you'll be walking down the street and next thing you know, you're, like, in some random building and you're just like, what? Like, just something random like that. My dreams, like, literally have an entire storyline. Like, everything makes sense. Everything is in order. Like, nothing is skipped. Nothing extreme happens. Like, it's, it, that's, like, what makes it scary to me is, like, how real they are. And thankfully, they've stopped, but I've still had, like, a lot of trouble sleeping. But that's like one of the besides nausea and like being tired which is just like common being pregnant like those dreams are like one of the hardest things also for me during the first trimester just because they're so intense and i don't know if anyone else has them like but i have them a lot like i've heard of a few women having them but like mine just feels so intense and they just i think about them all day which just adds to my anxiety like it's just like a whole train of like <laughs> bad events during the first trimester because like I don't feel pregnant, I don't look pregnant at all. Like a lot of the people I know, they're like, you don't even look pregnant. Like, you know, I, when I was like three months, like I looked huge and I just don't look pregnant until I'm almost into my third trimester really. So the first trimester just is not fun for me whatsoever, but I'm just glad it wasn't with Landon. Um, like my, this pregnancy isn't like Landon's because of Landon, I couldn't hold solids down whatsoever. Like I was eating frozen Gatorade and Cheerios for a good two weeks. So I don't miss that whatsoever. Oh, another weird symptom that I have, which you can Google because I did, is your hair changes throughout your pregnancy or pregnancies. Like it's always different. Your hair can change color like a little bit. You're not gonna go from like blonde hair to like straight black or like brunette, but it does change color sometimes and texture. So if you don't know me personally, I have like ringlets right where my sideburns are and also the under part of my hair probably from like right here down. I have like intense waves. My hair is curled right now so you can't tell. And then the top of my hair is usually just straight. But this pregnancy has made my hair like super wavy and like textured and I love it so much. Like it looks so, it looks so good and it looks so full. Whereas before my hair was like super dry because I was pregnant mostly throughout like like fall throughout the entire winter. So my hair just looks so dull, but now it looks really good. Even though I'm still in winter, I don't know, it just looks way better this pregnancy and I love it so much. And I hope it stays afterwards because I hate, I've always hated my hair. Like, oh God, it's just always so flat and boring. So my cravings for this trimester um, are pretty weird. I have everything written down here because my memory this time around is horrible. Like pregnancy brain is so real. I didn't really have pregnancy brain that bad the first time, like probably the third trimester until I had Landon, but I can't remember anything to save my life. Like Kevin will ask me a question. And I'll be like, you never told me that. Or like, I don't even remember you saying that. And uh, so everything is written down and for cravings, I have SpaghettiOs, which I ate every single day for two weeks. I don't know why. If I didn't eat them, I felt sick. If I didn't eat them and I ate something else, I would throw it up. So I only ate SpaghettiOs and now they just sound gross. Also Burger King. Burger King was a big one. I craved Burger King like every day for a good week and a half and I did get it and it was so good. But now I don't want it anymore. Um, soda. Soda is something that I don't really drink often. Kevin never drinks soda, so it's never a staple in our house. I never buy it unless I am, like, out to eat, um, which is rare. I don't really go out to eat very often, but because I do work in a restaurant and soda is available to me, I do take advantage of it quite often, and Dr. Pepper uh, I don't know, like something that just about like the taste and the carbonation is just so satisfying to me. Oh, it's so good. Um, also, I was on a kiwi kick for a little while. No idea why. Um, Gushers. Oh, 
I've always loved Gushers. They have a special place in my heart. They are horrible for your body, but I love them so much. And I still eat them, but not as often as I did the first time. Like I would eat boxes of them so bad. So my adversions were chicken and steak. Something about the smell of them just really turned me all the way off. Like I love steak too, and chicken is a really, really big staple in my house, but like ugh, couldn't eat it whatsoever. Um, also, this is a weird one. I love iced coffee. I love cream. I love the sugar. I love the shots of like caramel and whatever. Um, I hate it. I hate it when I'm pregnant. It didn't start until later this pregnancy where I was like, I don't want iced coffee anymore. Like the sugar is too intense. Like the cream in it is just gross. And the only thing that I like is hot black coffee, which is the complete opposite of what I drink. It's so weird. Um, but yeah, I don't know, like something about like the ice and the cream just makes me feel sick to my stomach. And that's the same thing that happened with Landon, but very early on. And then after I had Landon, I was back to my, you know, iced caramel mocha macchiato, whatever it is that I drink. I can't even remember. So basically this pregnancy, I am craving a lot of sweets and like chocolates and like rich things. Um, whereas before I wasn't at all, I was definitely craving a lot of salt. Um, but I'm really trying to like put myself on a good diet this time just because I gained so much weight before and I felt really, really unhealthy after I had Landon. And now that I do have a baby, I need all the energy I can get. So I'm trying to drink like green smoothies. Um, I'm trying to have like all organic stuff, you know, things that aren't really processed. And not just for me, but for my family. Like, if I know how eating fast food and, like, processed food makes me feel and, like, makes my body feel, why would I want to give that to my baby? Who needs the energy to, like, play? And, like, I don't want him feeling gross. So, you know what I mean? Why would I go out and buy those things? So, I'm trying really hard to, like, you know, not dive into all of my cravings and kind of find like alternatives to them. So basically that's it for everything during my first trimester. It wasn't really that big or informative, just like, you know, the basics of what happens during your first trimester, I did experience them. Um, but now that I am in my second trimester, um, I'm 20 weeks as of yesterday, I'm just so excited to make my second trimester video. Um, so basically this video was from week 4 to 15. Um, I know 15 is in the second trimester, but I didn't really have any changes until my um, 16th week. So my next video is going to be 16 to 20 weeks, which a lot has happened. And we did the anatomy scan and everything. So if you want to watch that, look for it because I'm pretty sure I'm going to upload it right after this video. But thank you guys for watching and I definitely want to continue doing YouTube. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up because it does help my channel and lets me know if you like the content that I make. Um, but yeah, leave a comment down below if you have that weird pregnancy symptom because I haven't met a single soul who has had it and it's like extremely rare. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.